Michael? Where the blazes is he? He's probably gone out looking for a good time again. It'll be his undoing, mark my words. Let's see what the mad old codger's been up to lately. Roderick Bandersnatch's good time formula. My secret blend of essential oils, quartz crystals, and animal parts has resulted in success. Harnessing the body's natural circadian rhythm to trigger a transformation. Senses and animal magnetism are heightened between the hours of 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. daily. Guaranteeing a good time for the host for 12 hours every day. On subsequent pages, I've written the formula to reverse the effects, if desired. It looks like he's already knocked back half of it. I bet he's out there now trying his luck with the local strumpets. The Randy Galoot. I guess it's safe to give it a try. What's your problem? Oh well, down the hatch. Good heavens! It tastes like rancid sloth offal. Uh oh. I don't feel so good. Cripes! If this is my uncle's idea of a good time, no wonder my aunt left him. I should probably mix up that reversing formula quickly. It's got cold tea in it. Hair of the dog. Looks like a recipe for an antidote to my uncle's formula. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Yada, yada, yada. Really? If you say so. Okay then. I need to boil up water, opium and dog hair in a large crucible. Then drink it. I can hardly wait. It's empty. It's stone cold. Okay. It's empty. It only gets up if there's food on offer. It's a prototype and there's no gas. It's a funnel used for filtration. It needs some kind of fine gauze to work properly. It's for soaking up spills. Absolutely. These things will always be popular. No idea what's in these ones. They look very fragile. It looks like my uncle bought himself a new dog. I don't want to just yank his hair out. It goes upstairs. I don't need to go upstairs. It's my uncle's violin. Gently, gently. Bugger! One of the strings snapped off. It's my uncle's walking cane. Why not? No one else is using it. I think this one used to belong to my grandfather, God rest his soul. I prefer one with a bit more snaz. Let me see. It's after 11 p.m. Let's see what happens if I move us forward 12 hours. I think the formula is wearing off. I think I'm only going to stay like this for the next 12 hours. I'd better mix up the antidote quickly. He's a professional louse tamer. Nice lice. Thank you! It takes years of hard work to train them to jump like that. How do you train your lice? I let them swim around in amphetamine for 20 minutes every morning. Can I have some of your lice? They are not for sale, but are free to leave whenever they wish. I like your moustache. Thank you! You should get yourself one. Where does your traveling circus travel to? From the farthest reaches of the east 
to the great unknown of the West. You mean you go up and down the street? Yes. Bye. So long! They're loving all that bird seed. It's a sea of red poppies. It's a white poppy. I don't need to carry it around with me. He's our street's official urchin. Hello there. Good day to you, Mr. Bandersnatch, sir. Good day to you, urchin. I ain't gonna be an urchin for much longer. I'm in the regional finals of Ragamuffin Idol next Friday. What's Ragamuffin Idol? It's the national competition for waifs and strays to show the world their skills. What skills? Poloining, misappropriation, pilfering, and good old-fashioned delinquency. Good luck. You'll get my telephone vote. What's a telephone? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure why I said that. What are you doing? Offering food scraps to those further down the social ladder than myself. It gives me a sense of enormous well-being. Park life, eh? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. May I have a go? This is the last of my precious bird seed, you know. Please, may I have some of your bird seed? All right. In exchange for an equal token of self-congratulatory altruism. Come again. Give me some sweets. Oh, I see. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Bladderpatch, sir. He's not a happy guy. What's wrong? My betrothed has left me. What's wrong? My... Why has she left you? Was he of a less... poor sign? Stature. Absolutely not. My bubble craves substantial love. No, it was his weird, his luscious, scented, manicured, exquisite beard. I just couldn't compete. Why don't you just go and get your beard trimmed? I can't be seen out on the street like this. I'm a wreck. Just dry your eyes and get yourself to the barbers. I don't have a handkerchief to wipe away my bitter anguish. Bye. It was nice to talk to someone. Here you go. Dry your eyes with this. Why, thank you. Right. I'm off to have my beard beautified. Goodbye, kind stranger. Oh, he'll have a nice time at the barber's. He looks like he wouldn't appreciate any uninvited interaction. That guy from the bench is in there now. I think he's hoping they take the whole lot off. I don't think that's hair tonic. New no way. I don't want to go in there. It's peeling off the door. It looks just my size. That's curious. I wonder what it's for. They look pretty tasty. I don't have any money. Good day, young lady. Don't try and sweet talk me. Felicitations, Mrs. Figgins. Piss off. What pies do you have? Lean meat only today. Why do you have a bonnet like that 
in a kitchen. It soaks up sweat and pie grease, although it does make it treacherously flammable. You're completely covered in pie grease, Mrs Figgins. It's to keep parasites away. You haven't seen any around, have you? It's like they're attracted to me. I'm in the mood for a greasy pie. That all depends on the meat supply. If you don't like what we have, you can sod off. Where does your meat come from? It's all sourced very locally. Bye. Today's special, locally sourced lean meat. I prefer a greasy pie myself. And those quotation marks put me off a bit. It's not been lit yet. Some sexy stockings with a tight weave. They're just my size. They're full of holes. I prefer a lot. They're not much use with all those holes. It's a trickling stream of raw sewage. Hello. How's the sweetie business? I'm offering a free minty bomb hold to every customer to try and get rid of them. Can I have a free sweet? They're in the bowl. Only one per customer. What do you do at night? This place turns into a juice bar. I offer free samples of those too. Bye. See you later. Don't mind if I do. You can have one of these if you give me that bird seed. Just one? You can do better than that, mister. Okay, I think there's enough glue on it. Wow. There's no way anyone will recognize me now. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Now I can get rid of my amazing disguise. You can have these if you give me that bird seed. All right, fair's fair. It's nearly all gone anyway. You drive a hard bargain. I should just put them in his food chute. In they go. Maybe I should light that fire now. It's a funnel used for filtration. It needs some kind of fine gauze to work properly. That should help filter out any solid matter. It's a funnel with some stockings in it. It would filter out solid matter, but not any smaller particles. Okay, in it goes. It's a funnel with some stockings and charcoal inside it. That should filter anything. Okay. Uh-oh. I feel all... Oh great, now I'm all big and hairy again. I need to sort out the antidote 
and fast. Oh, look at those little guys jumping around. If I stood any nearer to them, I'd probably end up getting infested. Hey, some of the circus lice just crawled onto me. It's a white poppy. I don't need to carry it around with me. Now that's a smell I won't forget in a hurry. <laughs> I like that. Do it again. <laughs> Did you just sniff me? Not recently. <laughs> Don't come near me again, you piffling fun bugler. Why would I, you mankish guff snatcher? Spaff weasel. Got it. Piddle stick. Jabber snark. It's empty, but 100% grog resistant. Whiffle pub. Clump angler. Snuff wobble. Shittle It belly. has an exposed, naked flame at the top. I'd need something very long if I wanted to interfere with it. Trump whistle. Come on, finish my drink. It's now. not long enough to reach the top on its own. Just don't sniff me again. I don't have any money. Final stop, chaps. Meet your tasty new host. It feels like there's a ferret in me bonnet. Better let me scalp breathe a bit. Okay. It looks very absorbent. It's the front door to someone's house. I don't want to barge into someone's house. It's a trickling stream of raw sewage. It's empty, but 100% grog resistant. Okay then. I have no idea why I'm doing this. It's clear and looks like all the others. This one doesn't smell familiar. This one doesn't smell familiar. This one smells like those poppies in the park. I'll take this one. I don't want... I don't like alleys. Bad things happen in them. Not with my current condition. It's an elephant's foot with sticks in it. I prefer one with a bit more snares. Oh man, this stuff honks. Look at that. It's still clear. I'm still going to boil it first though. In you go, it's just got water in it. It needs more ingredients. In you go, it's full of water and poppy juice, but it's missing a final ingredient. It 
it's state of the art. Good idea. I'll use the violin string to tie something to this cane when I need to. That doesn't need tying up or going. It's no longer occupied. Keep off the grass. I'd better not. That's a nice long branch. Okay. Good idea. I'll use the violin string to tie something to this branch when I need to. Good idea. I'll use the violin string to tie something to this cane when I need to. Today's special. Locally sourced. I can't really resist a greasy meat snack. It has an exposed, naked flame at the top. I'd need something very long if I wanted to interfere with it. It's not long enough to reach the top on its own. Okay, I'll tie them together with this violin string. It's not flammable enough. Maybe I should add something to the end of it. Lovely. I've covered up its knob. It's not flammable enough. Maybe I should soak it with something. That doesn't need poking with a long stick, even with a bonnet stuck on the end. That doesn't need poking. That doesn't need poking with a long stick, even with a bonnet stuck on the end. Okay. She's worked here so long, she probably tastes like pie. Good day, young lady. Don't try and sweet talk me. You're completely covered in pie grease, Mrs. Figgins. It's to keep parasites away. You haven't seen any around, have you? It's like they're attracted to me. What a precious little dress you have on. Why, thank you. You're looking absolutely radiant today, Mrs. Figgins. Oh, stop it. You're truly glowing today, Mrs. Figgins. Oh, you. These pies smell absolutely divine. May I try one? I'll think about it. Please, may I sample one of your pies? Oh, go on then, you little charmer. Okay, now the bonnet's all greasy. Okay. Okay. Walking around with this inside my...
I need to get all the ingredients in the crucible first. It's full of water and poppy juice, but it's missing a final ingredient. I don't want to just yank his hair out. He smells like my uncle. Okay. It looks like my uncle bored himself. I don't want to just yank his hair out. I need to be careful with this under my cloak. It's dripping with grease. Hang on, there's something metal sticking out of it. Holy crap, that could have been nasty. Here boy, don't move. Got some. In you go. Water, poppy juice, and a little pinch of dog hair. Perfect. I right, here we go. That's roaring now. It's not ready yet. Okay. Water, poppy juice, and a little pinch of dog hair. Perfect. I do. Right, let's try it out. Hey, this doesn't taste too bad. <laughs> Well, this is just dandy. I did try to warn you. 